Moments of chaos at the Capitol this afternoon as public observers were removed from the gallery and a House member officially reprimanded for speaking off topic. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rory Johnston. News Channel 5's Chris Davis saw it all today, and tonight he shows us what happens and what it means for the rest of Tennessee's special session on public safety. Now in session. There have been moments of frustration throughout this special session, but it finally manifested into this. They strongly oppose these proposals from Representative Bull, so they're reprehensible, they're asinine, they're insulting, and they're not fitting. Representative Jones, you are about ready to be ruled out of order. For when Nashville Representative Justin Jones was first given a warning, then gaveled out of order once. What is one little Glock against an AR-15? Representative Jones, that's not the bill that's before you, sir. You're out of order. And then a second time. What our schools need are mental health professionals. We need funding for mental health, for counselors. We need to pay our teachers better. We don't need more police in our schools. Representative Jones, you're off the bill again, sir. You're out of order. Under new House rules approved for this special session, members that speak off topic two times cannot be called on for the rest of the day. The rules say that the body must now vote. During that vote to silence Jones, House Democrats all stormed out of the chamber. Department of Safety, please clear the balcony for disorderly behavior. While the gallery was removed for speaking out during proceedings. All I was doing was focusing on lifting up the voice of Davidson County of my district who said we need mental health professionals, counselors, we need common sense gun laws. House Minority Leader Karen Camper claimed it was politically motivated. You know, he had sent a letter to the speaker and all the members that he was going to call for a vote of no confidence. And that was going to happen today on the unfinished business. And so, of course, he was silenced for today. So he was not able to do that. The chaos in the House comes as uncertainty still permeates here at the Capitol of what lawmakers will actually get done before they go home. But the Senate has completed its business for the session and that's... Senate Majority Leader Jack Johnson made it clear they have no plans to consider any additional bills beyond the three they've already passed. Uh, we just don't think there is time during a special session which lasts a few days to properly vet th those bills. While House leaders last week indicated they won't back down either. Well, Chris, the Senate needs to get back to work. Meaning moments of frustration may only continue. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. Thank you, Chris. Both chambers will gavel back in tomorrow morning. Perhaps then we'll get a better idea of how lawmakers plan to proceed. Of course, Governor.